I think I'm recording. I think. I hope you guys can see the resplendent fall colors such as they are. We had two days of rain, so there you go. A lovely slippery mess. But I love riding, so I'll take the risk. Extra slow up the driveway today. Trying not to slip and slide. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, YouTube. You're watching Mike Cayley 7, a moto vlogger from North Carolina. And I ride the 2014 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. And today is October 29th, 2015. I love the beams of sunlight. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's cool. It's kind of like God's pointing, you know, like Moses. Moses. And here we are. Wow. Look at all that traffic. Jesus. Jesus. Oh. A dude got shot and his daughter got shot in that house and another dude got killed right over here on his moped a truck hit him right there that's a bad spot it is strong with the dark side of the force I only have a quarter of a tank of gas left What's my remaining? 57 miles left until I'm empty. What's the temperature today? Ooh, look at the fog. Excalibur. Every time I see fog, that's all I think about is Morgana and Excalibur. You guys see that movie? That's one of my favorite movies. 65 degrees. Bike's getting a bit wet in this fog. That's all right, the bike's dirty. So I don't mind. Again, I don't really have a topic. I'll try to talk about anything that's been going on in my head lately. <laughs> Good luck there. I've just been doing my thing. Teaching essays, how to do research papers, citation, grammar, gerunds, and infinitives. Moving faster through the grammar class this semester than usual. Just depends on the students, you know? Plus I've streamlined what I do. Most of what I do is uh, digital now. So I don't have to sit there and correct papers anymore. Well, I still have to correct essays. But, uh, you know, like tests, that's all online now. All my tests are online. It's a digital world, folks. I saw that, uh, the news about the Republican debate last night, and I was very happy with one thing that uh, Cruz started out with. 
he blasted the the moderators for their questions and he he basically quoted their questions and the questions are inane fluff questions like Trump are you really an evil sheriff uh, Bush why are your poll numbers down and those are not questions that anybody gives a shit about the questions that we care about are you know what are you gonna do about the economy what are you gonna do about the military what are you gonna do about Iran you know Russia what are you gonna do about health care that kind of stuff Not this, you know, you made a mistake when you were speaking six months ago. Please talk about the gaff at length. That's just stupid. So there's that. All right, that Chinese thing. The Chinese built a, a, an island on coral reef so that they can have an air base. And America is sending a destroyer 12 miles away from it on a patrol to prove that it's international water. I really don't care. I think the bad thing about it is that China basically destroyed a coral reef, destroyed an entire ecosystem. And I know the US is guilty of doing the same thing in the Bikini Atoll but that was a less enlightened time. Apparently in China it's still that time because they don't give a shit. Nowadays, you know, people are complaining about the slightest thing the US military does to damage the environment. But apparently nobody's complaining that China destroyed a coral reef. And I'm also not worried about that stupid island because with global warming, all it'll take is one storm and it'll wash that island away. You know, with the rising seas and all that. Good. I really don't care. I'll give you another thing, since I'm on the topic. I don't think that the United States should be concerned that Russia is in Syria. There was a CBS reporter who was basically criticizing Obama for quote-unquote allowing Russia to take the quote-unquote lead in Syria. So I guess this reporter would rather have the United States with boots on the ground in Syria instead of Russia. And I think Obama is right in his reading of the pulse of America today. and We just don't want to be involved We've already done enough damage there. More boots on the ground is not going to help. Let them fight it out. It's horrible, I know. And there's refugees, and that's terrible. You know what? Not our problem. That program that he had where he's trying to train locals, have we not learned anything from the Vietnam War? We tried that with Vietnam. Look at how successful that was. Nah, I think we should just leave that alone. Besides, Syria was Russia's ally all along anyway. So it's not like we're losing an ally or anything. Assad is an evil asshole. So screw it. Pull the troops out. Of course, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, because I'm not an international expert on anything. What do you think of all this stuff? Probably nothing. It's just a beautiful morning, that's all I know. That's what I'm sure of. The sun is shining and I'm happy. Yay. All right, oops, third year, second year, here we go. This is my Kaylee 7 on this beautiful fall day in October. I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Hey, look, they left me a parking space. <laughs> Love it. Love it. 
I come in late, and there's parking spaces. I come in early, there's no parking spaces.